We've got a lot of chargers, 68 charger, 70 charger. There's another 68 body over there. Um, we also like Chevelles. Uh, and so we kind of teased this in the last garage update. What's up, Resto Mods faithful? It is Friday, March 15th, 2024. We are in the final month of the 1968 Charger giveaway, the Bullet Charger. Uh, we have all the way to what, April 5th? Yep. Is the last day of that sweepstakes. So if you haven't claimed your entries to win that beautiful night, I'm just looking at it right now, sorry. I'm just, you know enraptured uh, by how beautiful that car is. But if you haven't claimed your entries to win that car, you have to do so before April 5th. Right now we're running double entries. That's two entries for every dollar you spend on restomods.com. You're gonna be entered to win that beautiful car and $20,000 in cash. But that's only one of the reasons we're here today. We've got so much going on in the garage. We've got so many cool new cars here. Uh, just wanted to run through some of this stuff with you guys uh, and talk about what's going on. Um, and what reminded me to do it is when this thing showed up just now uh, from Blueprint uh, Engines. Our friends over at Blueprint just sent us this beautiful 426 Hemi, um, which ironically we were like trying to take it easy. Um, because we have a 1970 Charger that we bought. I think we highlighted it in a previous garage update. It is a beautiful bright red uh, 70 Charger. Um, it's got a 440 in it, nothing wrong with that. Bench seat uh, shifter on the uh, column. Um, very cool car, but we were like, uh, okay, well, if we're gonna, you know, give this to Resto Mods treatment, we should do, you know, maybe a modern uh, crate motor. And then we started poking around on the Blueprint website and, you know, things escalated from there. Uh, and so now we have this insane uh, 426 Hemi um, that according to this dyno sheet, uh, we got into, um, yeah, we got into about 645 horse, this thing, am I reading this right? Yeah, yeah, that was, <laughs> so this engine showed up and it's interesting because we actually went smaller cubic inches than what's currently in there, but we wanted a Gen 3 Hemi and we really shouldn't even have access to the Blueprint website at this point because, uh, <laughs> because good things happen after that. But they had one sitting on the shelf. Shout out to them. This thing was all ready to go, dynoed. They bolted a TKX, which is something kind of exciting. I've been wanting to try out this new Tremec 5-speed. It's the hottest new transmission. Um, but yeah, so 645 horsepower. So what's interesting is we wanted to, we wanted to we're building a 68 with a Hellcat. So we wanted to stay away from the Hellcat, but this thing is only like 55 horsepower less than a Hellcat, but all naturally aspirated. So just a different animal altogether. Um, and now it's probably gonna escalate the rest of the car. I think I'm yeah. probably gonna have to be adding some um, subframe connectors into it. Yeah. All QA1 stuff probably going on that car. Um, but it's exciting because <laughs> these yeah. chargers, they have to be great chargers at this point. We've been, been giving away chargers and they've been progressively getting better. And we kind of have a game plan of what makes them good. This is gonna be a good part of that game plan. It's a 426 Hemi, so. Yeah, I mean, things have just a way of escalating from there. We're just like, oh, let's do this one thing. And then, you know, one thing turns into another, which turns into six more things. And so let's actually um, take a look at the car we're gonna put this in. We'll walk over here. Uh, past uh, the current giveaway car, um, this beautiful 68 Charger, which is the best year. Dude, I love the red on this car. Um, I think you have to come over here so we can share this mic, but uh, I love the red on this car. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, yeah, let's look at it. It's got a big block 440 in it right now. Um, and it's just a cool car. There's a, you know, it's not perfect. It's definitely somebody's driver. It's got, you know, paint chips in it. Those are not, you know, the headers I would have gone with. Um, yeah, it's been painted for a while, but it's a strong engine. Uh, we've put quite a few miles on this car. It runs cool. It's plenty peppy. It's um, fun. Yeah, we had fun with it, but when we were thinking about uh, the engine and trans combo, we thought like, what would be more fun, you know? And I think a 426 Gen 3 Hemi, all fuel injected. Uh, it's just gonna feel different. It's gonna rev out more. The five speed's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just take all this out. There's some good parts in here that maybe find their way into another project. There's no shortage of Mopars showing up right and left here. Yeah. So it should be fun. Yeah, it's a fun car, but unfortunately that five speed uh, TKX probably means the demise of the bench seat. I don't know, I won't jump to any conclusions, but 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, there's a couple. There's a couple things like we might be able to work a shifter around it and stuff. But I think once we get to the point where we have the modern Hemi that power level. Uh, we're going to go through all the suspension, put full QA1. It's going to handle good, stop good. I think that bench seat is not going to hold you in. Basically. That's what I was going to think. I'm like, dude, with that much horsepower, like I'm going to be sliding all over that bench seat. You're going to be sliding um, around. You need to stack like two or three other people next to you to hold you in, I guess. Right, yeah, right. right. The steering wheels on both sides. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, this is a cool car. We're going to be working on this. I think um, the reason this started, we're like, oh, we're going to have to do paint and body on this car. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, oh, okay, well, we'll have to you know, pull the engine and send this over to SV Body and Paint. And then we're like, well, if we pull the engine, why not upgrade the engine? And that's how we got to where we are now. Yeah. Um, I think kind of the tentative plan right now is to do something that's uh, not super common on the Mopars, but I'm thinking a black engine bay. They're usually body color, but since we're resto modding it and, you know, the black engine bay would kind of highlight the Hemi. There's no rules when you're modifying a car. I just want it to look the best possible and we love the red, so we'll probably leave the red on the outside. This Definitely leaving the red. This thing's gonna change stance, wheels, tires, uh, things escalate. I'm sure all the trim is gonna be replaced because it's all nice and good, but once you get a fresh paint job, everything else has to be perfect. So uh, as long as we're honest with ourselves. No, we we're gonna do all new glass, <laughs> all new trim, uh, yeah. you know, new paint, uh, new engine. We're probably gonna go new seats, new interior. I got some crazy ideas uh, for the interior and the dash. I liked some of that, like, we saw that one combo car at Mecham that yeah. was like three different years. And what was it, a 71? Yeah, Pure Vision Design, Steve Strope always does a good job of mixing different years of the same make and model and uh, integrating it in a seamless way where this car that we saw was a 70 with, like you said, a 71 Charger dash, which has more of like a cockpit feel to it, yeah. uh, a lot more shape to it. And it looked right. It made it. It just seemed like a different driving experience. Um, so yeah, something like that's optional. This car already has Dakota Digitals, which is kind of our go-to. Uh, so it already has a nice instrument setup. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna have a pile much. of cool parts that we can use in other builds left over after yeah, we yeah, finish this one. That but happens. It does happen, and and so. We've got a lot of chargers, 68 charger, 70 charger. There's another 68 body over there. Um, we also like Chevelles. Uh, and so we kind of teased this in the last garage update. So as you guys know, RM22 uh, has been here in the garage um, and is now gonna be RM26. Um, and this thing is a build, Esparza and his team built this thing as RM22, took two years to build. It's got another blueprint underneath the hood. Um, this is actually a 427, right? Uh, the uh, like LS style motor with the, a uh, Magnuson blower on it, and it's doing close to a thousand horsepower. Yeah, it's definitely capable of that. We have it tuned for 91 pump gas right now, and it's more than enough. If this thing is a handful on the street, it's got a six speed. Um, it's one of those things, it's, it's, it's not too much power, it's just not enough traction, basically. Right, right. Yeah, there's no such thing as too much power. Just not enough. Who was that? Carol Shelby? Carol Shelby. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's, we've definitely proven that to be true. But, um, okay, so that's RM22 and going to be RM26. We have let that cat out of the bag. Um, but we couldn't stop there. We actually saw this cool uh, 69 Chevelle on Bring a Trailer. Um, and we finally got it here. Yeah. Uh, and this is similar car. Also a boosted... LS basically. But right, right. It's a similar car. car. Instead of being supercharged, this thing, as you can kind of tell by the air intakes that are in the uh, outer headlight slots, this is a twin turbo car. Okay, so Here, let's let me talk hold this. about this because we were, um, we like boosted big cubic inch engines, and that one does things in a different way. It's, it's a blower engine with, uh, you know, high compression. So the power band's a little bit different, and then it's a stick shift. This does all those things. Actually, it has a lot more power even than that car. Uh, this is a Nelson Racing Engines twin turbo, uh, full setup from them with all the best parts. It's, it's, it's insane what this engine really actually is. Um, no problem making probably 13, 1400 horsepower in this car, which is insane in a street car. Um, it has a dual fuel tank setup, so it'll, it'll bump up the octane uh, on another tank so that you don't have that only pump gas tune type problem. That's so wild. It has 110 in one tank and 91 in another tank. Right. And so then it just, the, the computer says, hey, this is when you're gonna need the mm -hmm. higher octane gas. Yeah, it, it reads like boost levels and RPM levels and engine load and it'll switch to another set of injectors. 
and run on the race gas. Um, so this is like the best of the best. We were almost hesitant to ever do a turbo car because a lot of turbo setups are one off and uh, they require a little more maintenance and service. And we just didn't know about doing that to, as a giveaway car. But we always knew that the Nelson Racing Engine stuff is the most reliable, best, well-tuned, best engineered twin turbo setup on the market. So when a car came up that had it, uh, you jumped in the auction right away because it was it had a lot of things going for it. It's on an Art Morrison chassis, uh, which is another level too. That's just a great platform to build a car on uh, and almost a requisite at this power level. Uh, so it's got bigger tires. And how, how much bigger? So I think this is on 335s right now. It's on American well, Racing. It's, it's all tubbed too. Yeah, it's tubbed. It's on American Racing wheels, but we're going to be upgrading the wheels too to do some nice forged ones to just get a little more modern look. Uh, we're probably not going to do a lot to this car. It's a really nice car. Uh, we'll change a couple little things. We're probably going to revise how the headlight and intake uh, system works. Uh, mechanically, this thing is dialed. We took it on a rip, and that power level comes in, and it hits in a different way, especially with the automatic, and you got to spool these big, giant turbos up. Um, so it's very different than a supercharged car. It's a little more docile on the street, even though it's a higher power level. Uh, which is good for a giveaway car because this power level, you could get into trouble with this car. Well, yeah, you can get in trouble with any of these. And just real quick, um, you know, for all of the maybe less tech savvy people out there, when you say boosted cars on these, a supercharged car is basically forcing more air through the engine that is just normal air that's in the engine bay. Yeah, so yeah, it's using uh, the engine rotation to uh, turn some screws that force more air in. That's just, it's basically just taking atmospheric air and compressing it with the engine power. Whereas the turbo- It's exhaust, yeah. It uses the exhaust to spin a wheel to compress the air and make more boost. So it's technically more efficient, um, but it comes in at a different speed because it has to spool up and, and to create that pressure. Whereas the supercharger is kind of making boost right off of idle because the engine's just spinning it. Right. Um, so it feels different when you drive it. Uh, this. This thing, it's a little bit docile until you start actually making the boost. I think, when I drove it, I think I only saw like 16 pounds of boost and I got out of it because it was just, it was just terrifying <laughs> at that level. Um, but the car felt planted and safe and it does everything well. The, the chassis really makes a big difference on this car. So we're just gonna change a few visual things. Um, Didn't you tell me that intake manifold costs like $13,000. Yeah, I don't know the exact price on it, but it's a full billet CNC intake manifold. It's beautiful. It's like a piece of art. Um, everything Nelson Racing Engines does, we're super happy to get to have a giveaway car with one of their engines. That was like kind of a, a dream a couple years ago. So thanks to you guys, we're able to bring you better and better giveaway cars. That's kind of exciting about these garage updates is that we get to show you what's coming up next. And uh, we can't build every car we do, so it's nice to find one that has like all the dream parts of how we would build one. Um, and after your guys' response to the first 69 Chevelle that had a high horsepower boosted engine, uh, this just made a lot of sense. Um, different car, a little bit different formula, different way to get that power level or even more power level. Um, and automatic, so it appeals to a few more people. So it was just a no-brainer and it's awesome that it's even an opportunity like that. That's that's because of you guys getting in here to win these cars. Uh, this will be the first blue car that we've ever done. First blue car, yeah. We don't do a lot of colors. I don't know if you guys, if you're following a lot, we don't do a lot of bright colors because they're so personalized. Um, but this is just such a beautiful color. Uh, even when we were looking at it, it wasn't a disqualifier. I think the blue just works good on this and car. And now that it's in person, it's it's a beautiful uh, car, beautiful paint job on this thing. I can't wait. Um, this I is exciting. Yeah. We're, this, is, this is another level. It's going to be so. fun uh, to have this one around the garage. So wanted to give you guys kind of a tease at this one, um, as well as a look at RM26. Um, and then let's, uh, let's run around the garage a little bit and see what else we got going on. Because we, as always, have a million things going on. Junior and Regan are over here working on one of my favorite projects, uh, which is our uh, 75 Ram Charger. Yeah. It's got it's an accessory along. drive now. That looks actually really good. Yeah, Let's these... go see what these guys are up to over here. All right, so yeah, you guys just started kind of working on this yesterday afternoon with the accessory drive, so you cranked on it. It looks great. This is CVF. Um, it looks good on a Mopar big block. So we're just here. These guys are dressing out uh, the big block that Cogswell Marine built for us um, and just keep 
bolting more brand new parts on everything on this ram charger is brand new or freshly rebuilt um so somebody's going to get a hell of a, a car or truck i guess you should say because we're we're sparing no expense essentially on this uh, because it's a youtube giveaway we're not on a tight deadline as far as time frame uh, we're waiting to get to that hundred thousand uh, subscriber mark and then we'll pick one uh, but in the meantime it's just escalating the build process uh, regan's been managing the whole build process on this and as you can see this is complete frame up powder coated frame uh, it went to one ton axles so this thing's on like full eight lug running gear it's got a built 727 uh, this 440 it's got aluminum heads uh, the accessory drive it'll have a Fitech. this thing's getting air conditioning we're pulling out all the stops yesterday we were looking at a center console with a cooler from dometic something that's like plugged in and you can just have all your drinks in there uh, just a lot of fun things that we can do with a car uh, that's like kind of a blank slate uh, and it's a ram charger it's not a normal car that we do all the time so we're not as focused on it handling like it's on rails but we are making sure it's capable still off-road um, and it's just a good formula this was originally this is actually the original numbers matching block it was optioned really well it was a forestry service truck uh, optioned with a big block and ac which is kind of rare in a forestry service like government issue vehicle so we're assuming that somebody checked all the right boxes when they ordered this uh, and now it's getting the rest of months touch so it'll be you know, you'll recognize it as a Ram Charger, but the way everything works uh, is gonna be all upgraded. So even though it's the original block, everything's been gone through, it's got aluminum heads, accessory drive, it's just got like the wish list thrown at it. So all you have to do for this one is subscribe and you'll be entered to win. Uh, this is the easiest giveaway we've ever done uh, and one of the most extensive builds we've ever done. Uh, so it's exciting. It's another exciting thing that's in the garage um, and you'll see it updated on future garage updates. It's always gonna be chipped away at. Yeah. We're crawling our way to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And when we get to 100,000 subscribers, we're going to give this away to one lucky subscriber. So if you guys want to put some pressure on Esparza and his team to finish <laughs> this build faster, um, yeah. subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. Uh, and the higher that number gets, when it gets to 100,000, uh, we got to be ready with this thing to give it away. So these guys are cranking away on it. Um, and that thing's, I can't, honestly, I want to get it done just so before we get to 100,000 yeah. so we can like play with it. I mean, we drove it before and it was a riot. This thing was just super fun to drive in its own way. Uh, now it's going to be a little more power, better axles. Um, you know, all the steering suspension is going to be all brand new. So yeah, it's going to be super fun. Um, we don't even really care about the top. It has a beautiful steel top and everything's in good shape, but this thing's meant to be enjoyed. I was joking top about off. that right now because the top's basically always going to be off here in San Diego, and I can't help but notice that air. The yeah, we're putting the AC in it. <laughs> in I mean, in San Diego, you can yeah. drive around with the top and no AC year round, probably it'll be fine. Uh, but because we don't know where this car is going to end up, um, you know, somebody in Texas or any other part of the country, it gets hot during the summer, so you'll AC's want that nice AC. To have. Better to have it and not need it. So, it, no. yeah. Okay, and then another black car. Imagine that, another black car. This one is pretty special. Uh, we bought this car out of Washington. A gentleman poured his heart and soul into this build. I just got done talking to him earlier in the week about a few things of this car. He knows every last detail. He was really focused on the engineering. Uh, what's really special about this Camaro, this will be a giveaway car this year. So you guys will see this in a few months as an active sweepstakes car. So we'll tease it a little bit, but uh, you guys seen it before, maybe in a garage update. It has an LT4. Uh, and it has a six speed and it has an Art Morrison front clip and it has a four link rear end and it has Willwood disc brakes. So this is this is another level as well. We've given away Gen 1 Camaros and this year what we're trying to do is just step it up. So um, yeah, kudos to Hedge for uh, shopping, having like a, an intense shopping spree. Mouse yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so this car, you know, it just stood out with everything that it has and the features. Um, and we just wanted to go big. I mean, we saw like how you guys' response was when we give away the, the supercharged Chevelle, which was like just a combo that was just above and beyond anything we did. So. You might as well give the people what they want, right? Supercharged cars. Like you said, supercharged cars, but these are basically supercars. Yeah. I mean, when you look at, you know, resto mods mm -hmm. and where that has gone, yeah. um, you know, there's there's a, a way to mildly resto mod. I've seen, you know, some people go with like a nice small block 350 Chevy and a right. lot of applications. Um, we've had cars like that. We've had cars like that, and they're great. And, and for, you know, every day or cars and coffee or trying to build a daily driver, those are great. But why not push the envelope and go to what could really compete with 
the McLarens and the Lamborghinis of the world, you can pull up in this car yeah. and you could give them a serious run for their money. And that, in addition, I mean, like you could take this to the track. Yeah. You could be passing Regan's favorite Porsche uh, <laughs> on the outside in this car. I mean, the, the uh, I think, what are they, the Gen 4 crate motor, Gen 5? Yeah. With the variable valve timing. So it's funny you mentioned all the supercar stuff. So when I talked to him a couple days ago, he calculated the power to weight ratio and it's beyond almost anything you can buy new. The only difference with this car and one of those other cars is all the electronic nannies. Sure. Um, so that's basically it. Like this car just doesn't have the traction control, the launch mode, all the stability control stuff that makes those cars kind of take care of you sure. um but this car is just raw power the power to weight ratio he said you know out on the freeway where it has it would actually making traction and everything he said that uh like street bikes are basically the only thing that would walk away from him so uh, we haven't really taken it out to that level in this car we're just uh going through a few little things but this car is dialed uh, we drove it it's a riot it feels good um i love how you said we drove it i'm actually too big to you drove this it car. <laughs> I think I moved it. You moved it. <laughs> I don't think that qualifies as driving it. Uh, it's just this car I cannot fit in, uh, and so I cannot drive it, but I can look at it and appreciate it and imagine it. I mental drive it. Yeah. Um, but speaking of doing too much, yeah, let's yeah. talk about Blue. Okay, so this is not a giveaway car, so don't even think about it, anybody, because um, Blue, Blue is not up for grabs. This one's near and dear to our heart. This one's been in the Restomont's family for how long now? Years now at this point. I think Joe might be the only thing in the Restomont's family that's been here longer right. than Blue. <laughs> Almost four years? Yeah, I think. Five. Five four. years with Blue, okay. So it's not going anywhere. Or four years with Blue, yeah. Four years with Blue. Yeah. And, and years honestly, with Joe, four years with Blue. Yeah. Honestly, Blue was doing his thing. It was a ripper. We took this truck everywhere. We would go to all of our track days, all of our events. It was a daily driver for anyone in the office who needed a car. Uh, it was just trucking along with that six liter. It was quick, it was fast, it was fun. It got a, a full QA1 upgrade, full Will Woods. Um, and then we decided to pull the six liter for a previous giveaway, the K10. We wanted to put yeah. a six liter in that. So that left us with an empty engine bay. A Blueprint 427 ended up in there. Uh, like I said, we can't be left alone in the Blueprint catalog. This one actually came from our friend Brandon. He had it in another car um, and switched to a different setup. So we knew it ran good and everything. We'd actually seen this particular engine make hits at the track when we rented Barona. Um, so that's in there now, that escalated. Uh, it actually made noise. Shout out to Jeremy, he's actually been working on this. Uh, you know, he has a full-time job, you know, kind of keeping the circus in line in here. Uh, but he wanted to get his hands dirty, and I'm happy he did because he got in here, bolted a lot of the stuff onto blue that it needed. It's running a full Fitech system now, uh, and we got it fired up the other day. It made good noise, everything looked good, it ran good. Uh, so we're just waiting on a rear end now. Pro Gear has a 12 bolt that they're building for us that's getting all the goodies on it to handle this power. This was an open rear differential, so we wanted a posi. Uh, that escalated into like nine inch uh, forward bearing axle lens and custom axles and a posi unit and wheel with disc brakes in the rear. So we'll bolt all that to the existing QA1 stuff that we previously installed. Um, so there's really only one thing left to break on this car. Correct, yeah, so the elephant in the room is this, the Blue is running a 4L60E transmission, which uh, I believe they were originally produced out of glass um, because they're, they're not known to be uh, strong, they're delicate. So a lot, you know, I've, I've heard of a lot of people making power for a while, you gotta keep the fluid cool and you know, just take care of them a little bit. So we'll see how long it lasts behind this power level. This is another like 650 horsepower engine. Uh, so the 4L60 is there for now. Uh, we work with Silver Sport a lot. They have a beefed up 4L65E. Oh, ready. So yeah, we might be calling them uh, soon. I don't think Blue will go stick shift. I think uh, we've pitched that a few times and uh, you know, because everyone drives this in the office, the automatic is, is the way to go. Um, so we probably won't go stick shift, but we'll see how long the transmission lasts. Uh, only one way to find out. Yeah, only one way to find out, and we're close to that. So hopefully, the next garage update. Well, it's got to it's got to roll first. This thing's been sitting here for a little bit longer than I would like, but like you said, it's kind of uh, the shop truck, so it takes a back seat in terms of priority to everything else that's in the garage. So, again, shout out to Jeremy uh, for uh, taking point on uh, getting this engine installed, and hopefully, sometime soon, it's not only making noise, but it's making uh, black marks on the pavement 
out front. Um, uh, one last one last car, I guess, to show. Yeah. Is the 68 Charger. This came from Mopar's 5150. Uh, they did a ton of heavy lifting on this. They installed subframe connectors. They redid all the sheet metal. There's a lot of chassis bracing. Uh, and the reason we wanted them to build it that way for us is because that Hellcat's going in it. Um, we just got done uh, securing all QA1 stuff for this. So this will be, you know, full coilover car. Basically all kind of similar stuff that's in the current 68 giveaway. It's a full tubular K-member, but we upgraded the shocks to even higher level with QA1 for this one. Um, but Junior just got done undercoating everything so we cleaned all this fresh sheet metal it's all got like a nice undercoated raptor liner we're gonna start smoothing the firewall um, but just chipping away at this thing so we can start bolting parts on it uh, and then the one last car that you guys don't see uh, but we do have some footage is the 67 Chevelle that we're building so that car uh, we finished all the sheet metal work here in house a uh, little bit of rest repair in the panel be behind the trunk between the trunk and the rear window Chevelles are notorious for trapping moisture there that got replaced by junior all the smooth firewall, some stuff that you guys saw us do little by little along the way. That's on a Roadster Shop chassis. Also getting, we're like a broken record with the blueprint engines here, but another uh, naturally aspirated 427 blueprint engine. Um, and that's at, um, SV Body and Paint. Siggy's handling it on his other branch of the business called 911 Restoration. So those guys are super capable. Shout out to Victor. He's handling everything. That car's down in bare metal right now. So that's going to be another car that we're excited to bring you because we like to build as many of them in-house in as we can as far as the bandwidth. So we have a few irons in the fire. Uh, as far as that goes, we picked a color okay. um, cool. and we'll reveal that, I guess, once we get some spray outs and stuff. But yeah, that car is down at bare metal right now. We're hoping in a couple months we'll have it back and we can throw everything back together. Um, and hopefully that'll be a giveaway car probably sometime next year, uh, because as you can see, we have everything planned out for the rest of the year. We're willing to show you guys basically everything we have. Um, we are actually still shopping for a car for the end of the year to give away. So yeah. I think what we showed you you guys obviously you know the silver 69 Chevelle is coming back after the Charger um, and then that 68 Camaro with the LT4 will be after that uh, and then at the end of the year we're thinking of Mopar um, we're kind of up in the air so after talking to some of the other guys here we're up in the air between like a Roadrunner um, that type of car it's kind of hard to find modified uh, Mopars so a lot of Mopars are very original um, and that was kind of like basically how the Mopar community wanted cars for a long time. Uh, so we end up building them modified the way we want. That's why we're building the 70 Charger the way we want. That's why we did all these upgrades to the 68 Charger. That's why we're building this one from the ground up with a Hellcat. Uh, but if we find the right car that is modified the right way with good parts that we like, that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, if you guys know of anything like that, send it our way we're always shopping the only other car i think that's up in the air maybe for the end of the year is a really nice like 57 bel air with all the bells and whistles that's just a type of car we've given away a 57 before early on rm2 yeah rm2 so it's been long enough um i think we need another 57 bel air and you guys see the level of these cars, so it would have to be kind of on par with that, uh, which is not cheap, but let us know in the comments. Is that something a lot of you guys would be excited about? Um, or do you want another Mopar? Uh, those are kind of the options right now. We like to try new things and see, you know, we've tried, you know, like trucks before, we've tried Fords before, we've tried all these different things. Um, but yeah, we're all kind of excited about Bel Airs as well. It's just an iconic car. So that's in the running um, and then a Mopar. So. Uh, if you guys have anything like that, let us know, because that's that's basically kind of without letting all the cats out of the bag. I mean, I hope, let them all out. Hopefully, <laughs> it just keeps everybody engaged because you are, you've already seen all the cars, so uh, that's what we're doing here and getting them right. And you can see where the cars are, uh, what we do to them when we get them, and uh, that's kind of the exciting part. That's all happening behind the scenes, but in front of the scenes, it's fine too, right? That's why. Yeah. Well, we're also here. This the garage update videos are always kind of like behind the scenes in the rest of Mod's garage, and kind of want to give you guys a peek into what we do on a day to day and a lot of what Esparza does, uh, just judging from our uh, internal chat channels, he's constantly dropping in ads. So I think he's looking at classified ads. Uh, quite a bit, um, yeah. you know, as a as you, a real wrench and a real gearhead. You got to feed the beast, and like, yeah, and like, even if we weren't able to like get such cool cars to give away, I mean, just like as a car guy, you're just always dude. I just had you're always window shopping. We should do a garage update just in your yard. Oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, there's gonna be some there's gonna be some like abandoned project jokes going on. There. It's actually not bad right now. I have a '55 Bel Air that's I'm doing like kind of two lane blacktop style, and I've been making some good progress on that. But that's kind of. Uh, you know, we do like so many really cool things here and the, the builds get complicated. Like this Hemi is just full blown. It's got, it's a gen three Hemi. It's got a, a Terminator computer and all the bells and whistles. So like my personal car, I'm going with like a little more simple formula. Just, um, that's kind of how it is when, when, when you have a car like two lane blacktop and then American graffiti, just, just like set the tone for a, a a 55 Bel Air for me. So that's what's, sure. going, that's what's going on in the not garage update, but even more behind the scenes. But today, a big one. This engine literally showed up today. Just and it, half it, an hour ago. It fired us up. So uh, yeah, Hedge was like, break out the camera. Let's show everybody all this awesome stuff that yeah. is going to end up in a giveaway car and it's going to end up in somebody's hands. So that's, that's crazy. That's exciting. Super fun. Super fun. And um, speaking of cars ending up in somebody's hands, uh, don't forget uh, to claim your entries right now for RM25, our 68 Charger, which after all the cool stuff that you've just looked at, um, might still be the coolest thing in the garage. Um, it's a bullet charger, it's a 68. It maybe is the nicest paint and body I've ever seen on any charger ever, or any car. I mean, this thing was built to be a movie hero car and it shows. I mean, there is not a single blemish on this thing. Every gap is perfect, it's just, visually stunning. Um, you can just picture Steve McQueen sliding into that driver's seat and uh, ripping around the streets of San Francisco. So uh, if you want to take home this beautiful 1968 Charger and $20,000 in cash, claim those entries at RestoMods.com. Right now, like I said, it's double entries right now until the end of the sweepstakes, which is April 5th. Uh, come 10 days after that, middle of April, we're gonna be calling a winner live right here on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel for that winner call. And if you've got your entries in, we might just be calling you to take home this 1968 Charger and $20,000 in cash. And if you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, you might just take home our 1975 Ram Charger. Again, all you gotta do to get entered to win that is hit that subscribe button. When we get to 100,000 subscribers, we are gonna give that truck away to one lucky subscriber. Middle of April, we're gonna give this 19 68 charger away to uh, one lucky resto mods member or customer so claim those entries before it's too late and it could be you good luck